a main question for today is, do I want to continue doing this video blog or not? It is certainly very time consuming and it was a lot of fun creating it yesterday. Is this thing sustainable to do on a daily basis? I'm not ready to throw the towel in yet on this vlog project, but if I'm going to continue, it's clear to me I am going to have to get some help. The very first person I've turned to is Vic Mittal, a professional videographer and cinematographer. And his website and company, vsmphoto.com, is really well respected. When you look at his portfolio, you see he's done some absolutely stunning, stunning work. Not only for art purposes, but also in the fashion industry. He's also done a funny photo shoot with our mayor. And when you just look at the depth and creativity, it's incredible. He's even done some live music stuff, which is very cool. And for Vic to take a whole bunch of notes and critique my vlog is was absolutely priceless. I also turned to Tan Pham from AsianEfficiency.com. Executives and entrepreneurs around the world trust him when it comes to being more productive and more efficient. Tan's also got his own vlog, and so I knew he would have tons of amazing insights on how to do it really efficiently. And boy, he did not disappoint. A great blog also has to tell great stories. So I reached out to my friend Michael Margolis, a world-renowned business storyteller, and asked for his advice. This is Michael here. His company's called GetStoried.com. When Google needed help with business storytelling, they called him. Obviously still a very long road ahead of me, but at least I can say I've got some help. Hopefully it's enough to keep me going. One of the best parts of what I get to do on a daily basis is just meeting such kind and talented, amazing people day in and day out. Here's a couple more people that were super cool that I got to meet with today. Okay, so I, I got to introduce you to the man who put me on the stage at NYU. It's Mr. Josh Spodek. How are you doing, big guy? I'm doing good. I mean, look, I, I gave you the opportunity, but I wouldn't put someone on stage who didn't who I, who wouldn't know what he was doing. I wasn't going to let anyone get embarrassed. So <laughs> I just opened the door. You walked through it. Uh, you're far too kind. I, I think people need to know about a couple things about you. So joshraspodek.com is your website. It's actually Dr. Josh Spodek. I should be introducing you properly. All the soft skills of leadership and entrepreneurship and emotional intelligence and things like that. I had no idea that they were there. It was like a mystery. And so the past 10 years have been really working on that. And you're writing for Inc. Magazine now, right? Yeah. I'm a columnist at Inc.com. In fact, I was at an event a little while ago, and uh, the person sitting next to me was the editor-in-chief of of Inc. Media. So I met with him yesterday. I am super pumped that I get to spend the next hour or so with my friend Ben Cummings. We met through Perry Marshall at the Richard Kosh event I've talked about a few times. He's in Rochester, New York. He is a superstar with e-commerce. Like Ben is just one of the happiest, coolest, best, funnest guys. I am so happy that I get to introduce you to him. Man, and you lie about other stuff too, don't you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think, um, Tim, seriously, like Tim wanted to be all kind of subtle on this on this video, but um, I just have to say what I told Tim just before um, this video actually was that um, I have applied pretty much everything that I can get my hands on that's Tim Francis related. Uh, for my own e-commerce team because we keep hiring people and we're just really just exploding with growth too fast because it's hard to sort of rein in the chaos. And Tim Francis' stuff has been so beneficial to regaining my life, to beating back the chaos, getting very, very focused. And I was telling Tim what really pumped me up is I've never had team members tell me, Ben, I actually feel, feel like fulfilled in a job. And that to me just blew me away. So, um, uh, so I am going to give you a testimonial here, Tim. You, everybody watching, definitely should listen <laughs> to this dude because uh, um, I know a lot of other really, really big rock star players in the industry, and we all quietly are using Tim Francis. So take that for what it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that I thought I was just introducing you to be like, hey man, like check out Ben Cummings. He's this cool <laughs> guy. I get to hang out with. <laughs> Thank you. You're too kind. Time to hit the road. I just got notification that my new camera is here and some other equipment which will help with the video blog which I'm pumped about. And uh, you know what, there's uh, some distinct versions of Tim. We've got Super Dapper like GQTF, we've got CrossFit Tim, and uh, we've also got Mad Scientist Tim and that is absolutely what you've been seeing me the last few days. Don't care about my hair, don't care about the fact that I've got like toothpaste on my sweater. 
We just got to get out there and get going. Let's do it. I always thought it'd be cool to have a car with tinted windows, and then I got one. And it is like kind of inconvenient when you're backing up at night. You can't see anything out of the damn back windows. In Edmonton, we joke that we've only got two seasons. We've got winter and we've got construction. Well, that's kind of cool. A little fair going on. Some of the most favorite people on the planet. People at the UPS store. Here we go. Ross the boss, what's going on? Hey, how's it going? How you doing, man? Good to Good see you. Good yeah. hey, to see you. One, two. Oh man, two for one service. This is amazing. For you, Tim, would do anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> I actually need to thank you, Ross, for something. And there was a couple times when the months were pretty, pretty tight. Yeah. And I, you know, you let me just pay a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. And that was really kind of you. So I yeah. just want to thank yeah. you so much for that. Yeah. And you're a good guy, Tim. I mean, you know, you're good for it, right? <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Every time I go to the UPS store, it's like Christmas. And sometimes I just can't wait. I just need to like rip open new camera. Yes. I am pumped to check this thing out. But first, the essentials. Time for some berries. All right, mission complete, berries acquired. And Danny the cashier smelled, uh, he smelled really good, so I complimented him. I'm pumped for our very first ever Q&A session. Now, before we go there, I gotta give a big shout out on our YouTube channel, Toronto Maple Leafs. Thank you so much for our great conversation so far. I'm so moved by our conversation, in fact, that I've decided to rename my first ever vlog, and I quote, haven't gone outside in days. Thank you so much. On our Facebook page, we got a great question from Steve Patnode. The question is, how do I find a great mentor? Steve, I've got some great news for you. I've decided to come up with a full list of seven tips just for you on how to find a great mentor. Here we go. Number one, if you remember nothing else, remember this. Remember to turn the tables. Ask yourself, what would you have to hear to say yes if somebody was asking you to be their mentor. Turn the tables that way and instantly you'll be in the right headspace. Number two, ask 10, get one. The reality, reality is you'll probably have to ask a handful of entrepreneurs. They're oftentimes really busy. A lot of them may say no, but here's the good news. All it takes is one. When I get together with my top mentors, oftentimes we have a single conversation and my business accelerates by three to six months, it's absolutely incredible. It's totally worth the nine no's to get the one yes. Number three, make it a small ask. When somebody says, hey Tim, can we go to coffee? I'm just like, oh, you mean I'm gonna have to change out of the entrepreneur uniform? Then I'm gonna have to drive somewhere? No thank you. If somebody were instead to say to me, hey Tim, would you be willing to jump, jump on the phone for 10 minutes? That is a way easier ask for me to say yes to. And the mentors that you're looking at probably feel the same way. Number four, have a humble learner's attitude. Now, first of all, I'm gonna tell you what not to do. If you come in and say, hey, I'm wondering if I could take you to coffee sometime so that I could pick your brain. Like, what the f is my brain some kind of like used parts yard that you're gonna come and like raid and take all the good ideas? That's horrible. Instead, if somebody were to approach me and say, hey Tim, I've been following you for a little while. I have felt really inspired by you and what you've accomplished. And I was wondering, and maybe this is out of the question or maybe you're just out of my league or something, but I was wondering, is there any way that you'd be willing to jump on the phone for 10 minutes? I have a few very thoughtfully prepared questions that I'd love to ask you if you're up for it instantly that like all my defenses come down. It's like, wow, I've got a wounded puppy here, totally vulnerable and totally effective. Take that approach and you'll find a lot more doors will open for you. Okay, number five, when you do get the meeting with the entrepreneur, make sure that you ask meaningful questions. Look, if you're asking to them to push themselves, to show up, take time out of their calendar, for goodness sakes, push yourself and come up with some meaningful questions. Furthermore, the higher quality your questions, the higher quality answers they can give you. If you just ask something generic like, what are all the secrets to your success? That's a pretty weak question and it's tough for them to give you really valuable feedback. Number six, 
Ask for, oh, Steve, number six. Number six is a damn good one. This is definitely a writer downer. When you're in the meeting with your mentor and you get towards the end of the meeting, ask them if they'd be willing to receive an update from you for you to give them an update on the progress that you've made. When you do that, you're now opening the door to stay in touch with them, which is very, very powerful. Furthermore, if they give you tips during the meeting and they accept your ask around sending them updates and you send them an update showing them all the great progress that you've made on the advice that they've given you, wow, that just, that does wonders to endear you to them. Number seven, take action on their advice. Damn it. Like, if they're gonna sit here and give you all these just nuggets of gold and you don't do a damn thing with it, that is a sure way to never get another meeting with them. On the flip side, if you do take action, you send them the update, they're gonna go, wow, this person really respects my time and really makes good on the advice that I give them. Now, here's a bonus tip, Steve. Towards the end of the meeting, you also wanna ask the mentor if there's anything you could do to give back to them. They may say no, and you may feel inspired to ask, maybe you could volunteer some of your time and energy to a charity that's really meaningful to them, or maybe you can afford a few dollars to donate as well. Steve, those are my seven tips, plus a bonus, on how to get a great mentor. Hopefully that helps. Another day in the bag here at the Entrepreneur Academy, and what a day it was. I was so lucky to spend such incredible time with some awesome people today. And <laughs> Get some help on this video blog thing because holy smokes, it's a lot of work. I think if yesterday was four hours of editing, today was three and a half. Now I gotta tell you, for tomorrow, it's webinar day. Thursdays are when I do selling webinars for the Great Assistant Program. And even though it's like the eighth, ninth, 10th, 12th, I don't know how many times I've done this webinar now, I'm still finding huge opportunities to improve the slides and the sales pitch and whatnot. The thing is though, is it's really intense, so from approximately 8.30 in the morning when I get up all the way until one in the afternoon. I'm just crushing as much work as I can as fast as possible. To, so I don't know what's gonna happen with this video blog tomorrow because I'm going to be intensely focused on doing like the rolling up my sleeves work. You know what though, that'll be tomorrow's problem. I really appreciate you tuning in today. I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow. And I thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Onwards and upwards, my friend.